Okay, somebody asked me how to um, run a custom custom uh, map or uh, what pack through uh, Doomseeker. So let's have a look. Um, this is my first time, so you go to the Doomseeker uh, Doomseeker uh, download page, which is here. Okay. Then you click on the uh, download complete package here. And I already clicked on it, but click on it again. And uh, open it. And I have, uh, I have Isaac to open my zips with. So uh, whatever zipping program you're using. And then uh, you need to find a way to put it on your hard disk. So uh, someplace, oops. Um, okay, um, I put Doom, my Doom folder looks like this. And uh, it lo does look confusing because I have many different uh, versions of Doom installed. But that shouldn't scare you off. You just uh, look for uh, Zendronum. And uh, there it is. Put in there. And Doomseeker sits in, all, in its own folder. By default, Doomseeker comes with Sandronum. Uh, but my version is, is quite old. I think it's uh, point zero point eight, and they're up to one three two now. So quite old in the tooth so you know what I'll just I'll just erase the whole thing yeah there and chuck it over here okay then I start Doomseeker I allow access through my firewall uh, and it already is uh, finds all these uh, servers for me which is a what it does. Um, now you'll do need to configure it if you're running it for the first time. So your Zendronum AXE should be here. And uh, these are both correct. Uh, if you're not sure, just um, check that you have a, a development version as well. I put my development version in here. And um, now you need somewhere to put your uh, files. So uh, you can put them. It puts them here by default, which goes into your uh, into your system disk. Uh, you can they can also be put into Doomseeker. But I like my I like my. Um, I like my wards to be downloaded to this. So um, oops. Okay, let's go again. Um so I go yeah, recurs here. The other ones are fine. Apply and that's all fine. Oh, uh, I need to add one more folder. And that's the uh, this folder. Because that's where my wads are. My uh, iwads, the big ones. Now, uh, the wad seeker. Ah, here we go. That's already set up. It puts them all into what get just to uh, highlight it again. That's where I want them to go because uh, what get is well, like what's the so for single player mode? The ones I manually download, I put into wads and I sort them in some sort of order. Um, 
like megawatts is I I put all my uh, I put all my uh, uh, level packs that are nine levels or more. I put them in here, and um, and just all my weapons I put in here. Guncaster, for instance, got to put in there because it doesn't change any of the monsters. Just gives you a really cool weapons and your dragon. So that one's totally awesome. Um, and so on. But uh, yeah, I'm getting off track. Since um, I want, we want to run a server. So um, uh, uh, so how do I run one? Create game. Oh, here we go. Game mode, cooperative, difficulty, hurt me plenty. Uh, I would. Uh, oh, just let me select. Select like this. Okay. Here we go. Uh, add. Oof. Um. Well, uh, I'll just throw something together quickly. Uh, as a rule, you should put your uh, megawatts first, your level packs. So uh, that's a nice one. And then um, check something else on there. Um, make sure it's compatible with Sandronum. A lot of GZ Doom stuff will not work in Sandronum, which you will find out when you try to start the server. Um, Oh, oh, this one I quite like. Yeah, so. Uh huh. And uh, monsters. Uh, that one's pretty cool. It's like um, Binding of Isaac. Uh, and then you click on host server. And uh, it uh, seems to be stuck. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. So that tells you that this particular one is not uh, compatible. Um, oh. I don't know then. Um, Colorful Hell? Is that compatible with that room? Let's try. No. Oh. All right, looks like we're having to do without. It seems that error messages appear below the window, which is, I guess, an oversight. But it seems to work okay. You can check by joining a server yourself. Okay. And... You have the custom level and the custom weapons. And unfortunately nothing else. Everything else is vanilla. Okay, well I guess that's proof of concept. If you want people to join your home server, you need to open your port in your router. And that will vary uh, from port to port, so I can't tell you how to do that. You'll have to look up uh, portforward.net or portforward.com to tell you how to do that. I hope this is uh, helpful. Uh, 
I can't believe we refine this guide uh, as I go on. And as somebody asked me to. Okay, have a good day. Ciao.